Part 1. Jumping into this we've already. Prep the land by having the pigs. Eat all the vegetation. They hung out here in the electric fence for about two weeks enjoying. All the yummy things to root at and eat. When it was down to basically dirt, we moved them back to their permanent home. Then we went through and cut back any remaining bushes or trees. And took out any stumps that were needing to be removed. This morning, we raked a 10 by 10 foot area to prep the concrete footings and start the Cluckingham Palace project. Help Dad. Gonna level it out like eyeball, but this we want to more worry about right in this area, right? Because this is about the square where our block's gonna be. Okay, probably need a little more up front here. Drag it across there, though. You'll mess up the. You'll mess up your hard work. Yeah. Look out, Daddy. Mm hmm. He's coming in hot. I can't do it. My toes squish. This one is higher than that one. Yep. That don't matter. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure for seven foot on center. Are you in the center of that? Yeah. Let me work it this way a little bit. Oh, he's not in the center. Wait. Let me measure. Oh. Center. Middle. There you go. Now measure. Okay. okay. Let's check our level. Let's go grab the red level. Oh, look, honey, honey, honey. Whoa. Whoa. Is that an eagle? Looks like a hawk. Oh, it's or a hawk. It's either a hawk or a younger eagle that didn't have its uh, white. white ball nesting yet. Here we need to go eight foot out for the far sides, but we're going to do four foot in the middle as well. Okay. Are you? Fifteen. 
I just wondering if you were good or not. Good. Actually, oh. we take some of this loose dirt. You can get your water bottle right here if you want. You said you were thirsty. Start with the high side here, I think. Yeah. Be easier. I agree. You need a steak. Okay. Yeah. Point. I stand here. No, 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 I was just trying to be helpful so you could help me keep an eye on the squareness of everything, too. Guessing about right here? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start digging into here. I'm actually gonna move this up as a... Marker. Just kind of a marker, okay. and I'm gonna dig to about here. You gotta push the button for it to come back. That's the Walmart one you bought me. It's alright. Not that great. It's a lot better than the Demeyer furniture ones I was using. That's true. Upgrade's upgrade, right? I mean, it's not my Stanley Fat Max I lost, but. a lot better than what I had. If you're gonna come in down and help, I'd like you to wash your face first because we're recording that way you don't have to come with. You just make a joke about it in the video. This is my there? feral homeless child who prefers to be dirty. You wanna show the camera on how dirty you are? Yeah. If I was trying to do something professional, like for the house, you'd want to dig at least four foot deep so you're past the frost line. Yeah, how deep the ground freezes in the winter. The ground will freeze up to four foot deep around here. And so, if, if you were trying to build it for a house, that's what you're gonna do. But this isn't for a house. This is for a chicken coop. So I'm not that worried about it. Do you like the square one? Uh, well, these are so I can see how have a nice flat surface here. If I use a pointy one, all this dirt's going to be super loose. And it's going to... It's gonna make all the ground loose, like I just did there. So then, the sinking effect we're trying to prevent with the gravel will be worse. This is keeping the bottom layers intact. They're already hard packed from Mother Nature. Does that makes sense.
talking about his fort shelter he wants to build. Fun. So I'm gonna make it deep, maybe deep enough that it might just start being running. How much juice does that go for? It just starts being running. Over four feet when you're past the frost line. It's not warm and it'll just hold a consistent temperature throughout the year. So it'll be like a warm, cool all year round instead of um, cold in the winter or hot in the summer. Um, that's why they build root cellars in the ground under four feet because it helps keep the vegetables. Well, and everyone's frost four. line is different. Yeah, ours is about four feet. Yeah. Depends on where you live. In my book that Dad got me for Mother's Day, yeah. it shows you how to build a house like you're talking about where you dig it in. <clears throat> if you want to read that later, you can. Um, Geothermal? Yeah. It's a cool one in a Native American tribe in California area. It's how they used to build their Level. houses. And it shows you how they did it. It's pretty cool looking. It's really smart the way they did it. No. We had part of theirs was above ground, like where you could walk in and like had stairs down. Does that make sense? Um, the Lost Place. The Lost Place, thank you. Is, it, is that the one where it is um, all the different parts of the world? Yeah. Um, I actually was reading more on that, and it's actually a, it's a tradition for a lot of different cultures in a long time ago. But um, in the Americas, it's a tradition with like Native Americans. But it was also a huge tradition in Scandinavia, the Scandinavian countries, where my ancestors came from, so like the Vikings and stuff. They it's crazy how they had the same traditions, worlds apart from each other. Yeah. That long ago when you couldn't... Communicate, there's no internet, there's no books, there's and no writing yes. letters. And, it, and the Vikings were just like... Well, there might have been books, but there wasn't like worldwide spread education and unity and stuff. And we just had to yeah. Well, you can't be my level again. I didn't realize it was off. Can you teach yourself or your mom and dad would teach? Yes, it was passed on through the generations. But did they actually use bark? Yeah. They used, you know how bark has a hard part and then like an inside part where it's almost like the pit um, of an orange where it's like a softer part that can come off? Sorry. That's, that's what they use. They we'll use have to the reset and streamline when we actually put the posts up too. Okay. All right, well, since we're here, we might as well do the one in the middle, right? Yeah. I'm only spanning seven foot for a floor joist. That's yeah. not enough to worry about. Yep. I agree with you. Especially with how little weight we're talking about. Yeah, considering it's not a walk-in one. It's never going to Well, even it. if it was a walk-in one, seven foot floor joist, that's... We've got probably 20 foot between point to point on that. Oh, really? Yeah, from the outside wall to the very center point where the next support race is. Oh, well, that's true. You're right. I was just thinking, especially being a half, um, only chickens are going to be walking on it. We're not going to be 40 chickens times 5 pounds, 10 pounds each. I mean, the max weight you're going to need to hold is you know, 3 400 pounds. The building's going to weigh more than chickens are. Yeah.
sorry for lunch. So you're gonna do the same thing here, up there. Oh, for your greenhouse? Yeah. But your greenhouse is gonna get a gravel bed throughout the whole thing, so yeah. it's gonna be a little different. I'm just gonna basically build a, uh, a platform out of pressure treated wood for a perimeter. Just build off of that. And we're gonna, so be a bit I'm gonna there. bring in a bunch of gravel to just grade out the flat to start. And it'll make the whole job a lot easier. It'll make the prep work harder because we got to actually bring a bunch of gravel down here. I don't know if we'll have enough gravel. We'll have to order some. Yeah, that's true. Because I don't want to give you a dirt floor in there. I think we need to lay down some of that weed barrier stuff, like cardboard, weed barrier, gravel. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have crap growing up in your greenhouse that you don't want. Right. And either that or mulch. Something. Something needs to go. Something needs to go for the base. I'm thinking gravel though, because we're gonna build a building on top of it. Yeah. See that, or I need to build pillars like this and then fill it with mulch. But these be on something more solid. I think gravel's the way to go. I we're think not, so for a greenhouse. Yeah, and we're not worried about that till like this fall or yeah. whatever. So I was just. Join us for the rest of the Cluckingham Palace build like and follow for part two.